How's it going guys? JT Judgment here and welcome to another Team of the Season player review. As you can see on the screen right now, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Team of the Season 89 rated Tony Cruz. Now when it comes to reviewing Team of the Season players guys, i got to be honest with you, this guy was not very high on my list because I was trying to focus on, you know, the, the, the higher rated, more expensive legends. But then I saw comments and messages from you guys saying, when's the Tony Cruz review coming out? When are we going to be seeing a Team of the Season Tony Cruz review? Can you team, can you review Team of the Season Cruz? So I thought to myself, right, I was already in the process of reviewing uh, or buying to review Team of the Season Aguero. So I went on FUT head and I decided to create a team where I could use them both in the same team so that I could re review them at the same time and Jesus Christ guys was this guy good if you are like me and you love taking long shots then this is a guy that you have to try out now I just want to start off by saying I recently tried uh, the team of the season Luis Suarez who on the card has 98 shooting I've got to say, this is what 98 shooting should feel like. You will see in this video that he scores goals from all ranges for me. His shooting is absolutely fantastic. I don't understand how Luis Suarez's blue card can have 98 shooting. And then you have uh, a team of the season, Cruz, who has 88 shooting. And in my opinion... Cruz's shooting is so much better, guys. Let me go through some of his uh, other pluses as well. Otherwise, you know, I could just spend the whole time talking about his shooting. It is that freaking good. Um, like I just said, epic shot from all distances with either foot. This guy has five-star weak foot, guys. i got to agree with a five-star weak foot. His shooting with his left foot is absolutely fantastic. And you can just score with ease. Uh, with his left foot just as easily with his right foot, you know, his, his shooting with both foot is fantastic, his passing is incredible, in my opinion, one of the best passers in the game, you know, on par with the legend Zola, Zola before using uh, Team of the Season Cruz was the best passer in Ultimate Team for me, but now I've used the Blue Cruz, he's got some competition and I've got to say Cruz is an absolutely insane passer in this game. He managed to set up a lot of goals, especially from corners for me. He really did excel when it came to assisting from corners, but his passing on the pitch, you know, crossing across the pitch or just short passing was fantastic with me as well. His dribbling and ball control is very, very good. He's got 89 dribbling on the card, and it, it, it really did show on the pitch. It really did contribute a hell of a lot to, uh, you know, creating a lot of goals that he did score for me as you will see from this video uh, and the last plus that I got from guys is his positioning is very very good I used him as a center attacking midfielder in a 4-2-3-1 and he was always in the position that I needed him to be in which always puts a smile on my face to find that a, that a player that I'm reviewing is always there when I need him to be now moving over to a couple of his weaknesses he's not got the best pace 62 pace on the card which it really isn't the best but I gotta say guys there were times where he just ran past defenses with ease and at times he did prove to be a lot quicker than what his pace stat says but he still isn't the fastest of players so if you're someone who likes pace in your in any position that you buy a player for then you may not enjoy him enjoy him as much as me but guys when you think about it for a center mid or a center attack in midfield that you shouldn't exactly be looking for pace you should be looking at passing shooting and dribbling and look at those stats that Cruz has he's got 92 passing 88 shooting and 89 dribbling so that really should outweigh the weakness of his low pace some of his other weaknesses guys he felt weak at times and he is very poor in the air his strength and aggression stat really isn't the greatest so he will get out muscled by a lot of people trying to take the ball off him which is a big big weakness this year because strength is a big part of the game and he is very poor in the air i think he is like six foot or six foot one so you could expect him to win a few balls in the air but guys in my opinion he just didn't win anything and He's just bad. 63 heading on the card is what you expect. Is he worth it? i got to say yes. 100%. Screw that. 1 million bloody percent, guys. He's become one of my favourite midfielders in Ultimate Team. The guy is an absolute god 
in the midfield. He only costs like 150k, or at least that's what he costs at the time of recording this video. He probably may have dropped by the time you're seeing this, you know? And to pay 150k for a guy that plays so well, I gotta say, you know, shut up game and take my goddamn coins. This guy is absolutely fantastic. If you've got the coins to try him out, do it. Because if you're like me and you like taking long shots and you like passing around the team to create plays, then this guy is a player that you should definitely 100% think about buying for your team you will have a blast using him guys because if he plays this freaking well for me then I honestly can't see why he shouldn't for you basically so I've given him a final score of 9.7 out of 10 the guy is a beast and I love him to bits and I will not hesitate to buy him in the future so that's going to wrap up my team of the season cruise review guys i really do hope you enjoyed as always if you did a like is always greatly appreciated and also hit the subscribe button today if you haven't already and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys